Hey YouTube, it's uh, Turn On Tutorials here, bringing you a Cinema 4D tutorial on how to get a 3D text with a transparent background. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up Cinema 4D. As soon as you open it, it's just going to look like this. You want to go to MoGraph and then MoText, and a 3D text will come up looking just like this. It might be selected on Basic or Coordinates. Uh, you want to go over to Object and uh, delete the name where it says text and uh, do what you need to do write your name in there or whatever the text you want click away and then as, as you can see it'll change um also when you're doing this there is a light colored box around the uh, inside of this make sure your whole text is in there and make sure there's no text or anything in the uh, darker spot of it because this will get cut off while rendering and that doesn't look good because there's been many issues with that and we don't want that problem so yeah it looks better if you put it at an angle a lot of the times because we're gonna add some light in a second but yeah to make it deeper you wanna go down here to depth and let's say you want it to be like a 45 that gives it a nice depth to it makes it look more 3D yeah alright now to add some color you come down here and you're gonna see materials right under that you're gonna see a file, thing named file hit uh, new material and come over here and there's gonna be like a sphere looking thing and that's gonna be the same color as your text uh, you can either choose your color from here it's kinda limited but I mean if you're good with like colors and stuff then you can go ahead and do that or you can double click on this and uh, it gives you a lot better look at the color so yeah I'm gonna use like a light green color just like that um, once you have your color it's gonna show up right here where it says matte you are going to click that and you wanna drag it onto your text your text is going to change but it's going to look funny because it has all these lines in there you just click away and it all goes away and um next thing we're going to do is bring in some light hold this down hold the little light button down and just hover over light and let go and as you can see it starts to change just grab this little cube right here and um move it around where you need to move it make it to where it looks really cool like that, that looks alright right there and it is okay if the light goes out of the light colored area too Alright, so yeah, once you have your uh, 3D text looking kind of cool with the colors and the light and things like that, this doesn't really look that good right now, it's just for the tutorial. You're going to come up here and you want to click this square box thing. This will come up, and then you want to make sure this is this uh, save is checked. Where it says file, you want to come over here and hit these three dots. And you want to find your uh, place where you want to save it. I'm just going to save mine for the desktop called uh, YouTube. Just hit save and then uh, go down to format and it's going to say TIFF PSD layers you're going to uh, drop down that box and go to PNG or JPEG whichever one you prefer I prefer JPEG so yeah that's what I'm going to do and then to make the transparency look good you're going to go down here to alpha check alpha but make sure the, the next two are not checked and the bottom two are checked so it's going to look just like this and um, that's it for this don't uh, change any else or change any of the other settings just exit out you don't need to save anything and to start your final render you want to come here to this little uh, orange box thing and you want to click that and your rendering should start yes it does have a back background in the render but um once you see your actual image it will be transparent so you can edit it and also the uh, render should not take long at all and uh, if it's not moving or anything and it says it looks pretty much like you think it's done just uh, exit out and go find where you saved it as open it up and as you can see it is transparent and uh, that, that's pretty much how you do it um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped uh, comment rate and subscribe that really help us out here um, uh, I'll be coming up shortly with another tutorial so um, yeah